Tomorrow's debate in Milwaukee is a must win for the DeSantis campaign. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video. And today, it is time that we talk about the 2024 Republican presidential primary. Because everyone, tomorrow is the day we have all been waiting for. The very first debate in the 2024 Republican primary cycle. Now, let me be clear. I understand that a lot of people are not going to tune in because Trump isn't showing up and the RNC has flat out, you know, screwed over candidates like Johnson, Elder, etc. But either way, this is still a critical event for all the candidates as they're trying to garner some kind of momentum in the primary. And in my opinion, there's one candidate that has to win this debate if he wants to have even a 1% chance of winning the nomination, or at least, you know, a better chance than currently, DeSantis. This is a must-win debate for him. If he doesn't win tomorrow's debate, might as well just drop out. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, Share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you can join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. Alright everybody, so again. This debate isn't going to, you know, suddenly turn the election around for DeSantis. But if he wants any shot of somehow beating Trump, he needs to perform not just okay at this debate, but he needs to win it. If he loses this debate, it's over. Because a lot of people are still holding on the hope that DeSantis is their guy for the future of the GOP. Well... If he blunders at the debate stage, good luck. You're going to lose, I, in my opinion, if he loses the debate, he's going to lose quite a bit of support, more than he already has. But let's get into it. Governor Ron DeSantis on Monday warned hundreds gathered at the beachside restaurant of the existential crisis facing America if he is not elected president in 2024. For the once rising Republican superstar, however, his moment of truth may be coming just two nights from now, a.k.a. tomorrow. We are in danger of being the first generation to turn over new generation, a country that is less free and less prosperous than the one we inherited, DeSantis told the crowd of supporters who came to cheer him on before this week's GOP debate. The Republican governor's visit was billed as a pre-debate party. And in many ways, it resembled that as people drank beer and ate food as the late summer and still relatively hot sun bore down on them. A.K.A. Welcome to Wisconsin. So, he did some events in Wisconsin and you can really tell that. <laughs> yeah, he's starting to get a bit... I wouldn't say... It's like borderline desperate. I mean... You know, he's trying to act so relatable. I mean, he's doing a bunch of these events in Wisconsin. It's like, yeah, people think Wisconsin, they think of beer and cheese, which that is true. I, you could just tell it's starting to get to a point of they need to win the debate on uh, tomorrow, I should say, or it's over. The two-hour Trump-free setup offers DeSantis an opportunity to improve his diminishing performance in the polls, but presents him with a challenge. How to convince Republican primary voters to embrace him without attacking Trump, who is far ahead in every major public opinion survey. Now, a leaked memo outlining a preferred debate strategy, drafted by the firm running the pack that is all but running the DeSantis campaign, advised the governor to defend Trump. 
DeSantis later said he was unaware of the contents of the strategy document. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure of it. The super PAC that's keeping your campaign alive. I'm sure that you never heard about this memo. Baloney. So, DeSantis, his advisors are telling him, listen, if, pretend to like Trump for two hours and don't directly attack him. I don't know how that's going to work. I mean, there was a far more effective strategy to going after Trump. It's by saying he was the best president since Reagan or whatever. But it's time we evolve the MAGA movement into something more. It's time that we evolve into a larger, more conservative movement or something. Not just, oh, I'm, I'm just going to worship Trump 24-7. People aren't asking for that. Just do what Ramaswamy does. Say, I'm running for president, but I do believe Trump was a solid president. And while I think we need to move on and, you know improve on the movement, I still support him and he was a good president. Why do you think Ramaswamy's picking up steam? Because he's not running just on Matt, uh, being on the Trump candidate. I'm Trump or an I'm anti-Trump. I'm anti-Trump. It's like, yeah, he's defending Trump, but he's doing it in a smart fashion. The memo also suggested DeSantis should attack political neophyte Vivek Ramaswamy, who has crept up in some early state polls. But going after candidates trying to catch up to him runs the risk of elevating their stature and with an electorate that is just beginning to tune into the race. That is 100% true. Say what you will about Ramaswamy, Burgum, hopefully Johnson and Elder. Say what you will. A lot of people still don't know who these guys are. And while Ramaswamy has been picking up a lot of steam, people are like, who? What's this guy's last name? How do you say it? Is Ramaswamy? Swami? What? Sandwich? You know, it's like, people still don't know who Ramaswamy is, or Swami. I still get that mixed up at times, but there are a lot of people that don't know who he is. And the DeSantis campaign, I, you can't just go vehemently after one candidate. It's not going to go well. Because you run the risk, like this article says, of... Just giving him, you know, fuel to add to the fire. It's still clearly a two-man race. And that's why Trump keeps attacking DeSantis. But on Wednesday night, he has to demonstrate to everybody that he's clearly the guy to take on Trump. Nick Irisi, a Florida-based lobbyist who supports Trump, said in an interview, The goals to consolidate the anti-Trump Republican support. Well, that's just dumb. <laughs> Do these idiots really think... That the majority of the Republican Party is anti-Trump? Like, let's be real. How do you think the Ramaswamy voters are going to break if it wasn't for Ramaswamy? They would probably vote for Trump. Just because they're not picking Trump their first option, that doesn't mean they're anti-Trump. Most of them are like, I think he was a good president I support him, but I think we have a better option. That's not anti-Trump. And this is a big problem that these idiots of the DeSantis camp haven't realized. These voters aren't anti-Trump outside of what Christie and Pence got. These voters are, relatively speaking, they still fairly support the president, but they just want to try somebody maybe different. They don't like this idea of bashing him 24-7. Like, they, they're of course, they're, they're willing to listen to alternatives. But you just turn them off when you just go after them or attack Trump for January 6th or whatever. You do. Attack to him on policy that does matter. Fine. But they still have to understand this. They think, oh, when if they don't support Trump, you know, right now, that means they're anti-Trump. No. It just means they like somebody more. The vast majority of them, at least. Iris C., who is close to the DeSantis campaign, but said he is not advising them on de debate preparations, predicted the governor would avoid going after Trump or other Republicans and will instead save his firepower for President Biden. You know, 
at this point in time, I think it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. But if I had to say the best way to go after this, it would be this. Focus on Biden, you know, focus on, I was a good governor, but this is how I would act as president. I think right now that's a better strategy for DeSantis because it's not like Ramaswamy where you know he's defending Trump a lot. A lot of people, it's like half the time DeSantis, you know, somewhat mentions Trump and, you know, defends him in a passing statement or attacks him for no reason. I don't think it's a good idea to go after him in this debate. I don't think that helps you with anybody. I think trying to convince these voters why he's a better option makes more sense. And going after President Biden, I think, is much more popular than going after Orange Man. DeSantis has said in recent interviews that he expects to be attacked by lower-ranked candidates looking to supplant him as a Republican alternative to Trump. On Monday, he criticized the former president's decision to skip the face-off during the interview with Fox's Martha McCollum. But why? (laughs) Trump is up 40, 50 points. Unless somebody's within, like, reasonable number, like, 20, then sure, Trump should probably show up. But let me pull up the RCP aggregate. So yeah, right here, Trump is currently up by 41 on the RCP aggregate. Listen, I don't know why he would participate in this. If it was like DeSantis was still in like the mid 20s, that's a better argument. But when you're up by so much, it's like, what's the point? All you could do is hurt yourself. But you know what's the trend here? You could definitely tell DeSantis is still trending downwards, while Ramaswamy is trending upwards. This is DeSantis's truly, in my opinion, a must win. He has to somehow convince Trump voters he is the future of the GOP. But at the same time, he has to somehow keep his current base of never Trumpers. I don't know how you're going to do that. My best guess is just focus on Biden. That's the only way I could see this working, but who knows? Tomorrow should be a very interesting debate. A lot of candidates, they're trying to win this, uh, trying to win this debate, trying to gain some significant name recognition. Somebody like Doug Burgum, again, hopefully Johnson. I still think he got shafted, but yeah. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the social media accounts in the description down below. And of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.